My name is Oda Non. I mentioned I'm the CEO of Halo. A few words of background about the company. We've been working for two years. What we do is we design deep learning processors for edge devices. We, the core technology of the company is computer architecture that we have designed specifically for this target. And <clears throat> the idea when we looked at this problem two years ago when it started is that on one hand, uh, there's great need for running deep learning uh, at the edge. On the other hand, you need great efficiency to be able to match this. Now, this is a very uh, hot topic, uh, the camera topic in the recent years. Uh, and still there are many discussions of what we uh, want to achieve or what we could possibly achieve. And now I'm very happy to share with you uh, uh, some initial information that we have on things that we actually achieved our first device based on our, uh, based on our architecture. So, without further ado. So, uh, this is the first device based on Halo's architecture. We call it the Halo 8. We're not very creative with the names. Uh, and I will uh, take a few minutes now to give the highlights of what we have uh, in our hands now. So, as I said, the concept is a deep learning processor, meaning this is a, a domain specific processor meant to run neural networks and do it very efficiently. First thing to notice is, of course, performance. When you look at uh, what performance you need to run neural networks, if you take typical uh, neural networks and, run, and scale them to typical sensors, which are high resolution and a few tens of frames per second, you get to numbers of a few teraops. So that's why uh, I think the first popular that I want to highlight that this is a very capable edge processor with a maximum uh, capacity of 26 teraops. Uh, 